Well, I'm going to dye my hair. I've decided. See all my roots here. I've got um, grey coming through here and on the top. Now, I did consider sort of just letting it go grey naturally, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dye it and I'm going to see how it turns out. Because I've never dyed my hair before. I've gone and I've added highlight at the hairdressers, but I've never actually done it myself. So when I say dye, I'm not going to dye it darker, I'm going to go lighter. That's the plan. So, what I've done is I've bought nice and easy natural extra light blonde. That was my strand test. Let me show you what's inside. That's a good. So you've got an intense intense conditioner for coloured hair then you've got colour activating cream colour blend formula and some gloves now what I really liked about this one was it says about the prep Sounds nice and easy, just mix it together, put your gloves on, shake the bottle, yeah, and then apply. But then I'd got a few questions actually about, you know, well, once I have it done, then, you know, how often we'll have to do it. And it sort of says here, it tells you all about it. So, what you have to do is if I did it and then I wanted to do it again, do my roots, just do my roots for 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes, do the rest. For an additional five minutes so that's good because i was thinking well you know if i do eat what am i going to do afterwards but this is going to be what i do if i've never colored my hair or drastic want to change your color or have not colored in three months start at the roots to dry unwashed hair leave it for 25 minutes and if you want um, a lighter shade leave it for an extra 10 minutes and I haven't washed my hair for two days, so it's Friday now. I last washed it on Wednesday, so it's ready to be washed. So here we go. So I'm going to mix the mixture and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm a bit, to be honest, I'm a bit excited, but I'm a little bit apprehensive as well. <sighs> so we'll see. I'll mix the solution and then um, I think I'll put it on in the bathroom because I'll have to get. I'll have to get changed because I was thinking well if I put it on and then I get undressed then I'm gonna get on my clothes aren't I so I think what I'll do is I'll I don't know <laughs> I think what I'll do is sort of get undressed to me to be undies and then do it and then have a shower maybe right then here we go right then so let's just unscrew that first and Let's put all that into there. <coughs> I just had a smell of it then. Oh, goodness me. That really whiffs. Oh my goodness. Right, okay. Well, I can see that it hasn't quite mixed up actually. Can you see? So, that's all of it in anyway. Right, okay, so that's that done, and this done. Now I haven't taken the cap thing off yet, I'm going to give it a shake. So, just need to go and get it on my hair. So I'm all prepped, <laughs> I've got changed, and Got my mirror and my solution and my conditioner there, instructions there. So I think I'm ready to go. So um okay. Oh no. Okay. So I suppose I need to do it quite fast actually.
Well, I've only got, I have got two of these to be fair. I was just thinking what I'm going to do if it runs out. But I have got another one. It isn't actually made up yet, but <laughs> if I need another one, then I can go get another one. See, now that's where my stubborn grey is. Here at the sides here. Well, I tell you, I won't say it's stubborn grey. I've just got grey coming through. Oh, goodness me. So, and a bit there as well. So I think what she'll do is just do where it's stubborn first. And then just do the rest, maybe. Actually, it isn't as runny as what I thought. It is liquidy, but... I thought it was just going to be dripping everywhere. Loom me. But it's not too bad. I'm going to make sure I just do that route then there. And then there, I suppose. Oh, do you know, I didn't put any barrier protection on. But I suppose I can go in light. It doesn't really matter, so it does it. So I've never done this before. Oh, I hope it's all right. Right, so we're really just like in a matted mess here now. Mm. Well, if it all goes pear-shaped, I have got a nice wig I can wear, so that's all right. So I did think it was going to be dripping all over me, but actually it's not too bad. I've just put my dressing gown on and it's all sort of just stayed just up there. It's unbelievable. So we can make a nice cup of tea now. <sighs> so, <laughs> cheers. When I rinse it off, I'm gonna use the conditioner. So, fingers crossed. Mm. I've washed it, conditioned it, and I just wanted to let you know that, do you know, it feels really soft, and I've brushed it, and it brushes really nicely as well, because when I, in, in the past, I've had highlights, and I haven't been able to get a brush through my hair, it's been really dried up, so this, even though I had it on, didn't have it on for 35 minutes, like I thought, not 25, not 35, I left it on for 40 minutes. Mm. So this is the finished hair colour and you know what, I think I really like this. So there is a little bit of grey underneath and I think my coverage could have been a little bit better on the top. So, happy days. I'm a blonde.